He's cracked us up on Superstore, and now John Barinholtz is driving the laughs on the new comedy American Auto as Wesley Payne, the wannabe CEO of an automobile company in Detroit. Take a look. Alan Strom, Wesley Payne. Oh, yes. Hi. Just want to say no hard feelings for what's to come. I know how this goes. How what goes? <laughs> you come for me, I strike back, you counter, and so on. It's how the dance is danced. If you come for the king, you best not miss. Or an interview, less a rap battle. <laughs> okay, well, the day is young. And John is joining me now. Good to see you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. I have been loving watching this show. It is so funny. Talk to us about Wesley, because we read in one interview that you called him an annoying fly. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, yeah. I think that's th those are those are kind words for him. Uh, he's... I know. <laughs> Wesley is look he means well I think like born to a different Wesley. set of parents or different yeah I, I, I think he means well uh born to different family he may be totally fine but uh you know he was raised in privilege and has never really had to like be checked by anyone outside of himself yeah. uh he's he's the unwanted heir apparent to the pain motor throne and he kind of exists in the office as a as an unwanted unfireable consultant so so where are things going for him right now kind of going into the finale so going into the finale uh you know we we just found out in last episode we met his family you know and we saw how uh uh, we kind of saw why Wesley is Wesley, right? Like he's even the black sheep within his family. So you kind of feel bad for him. Yeah. Going into the finale, you know, we know at the end of the day, it is his family's name in the business. So in the pilot, him and Catherine were kind of like this, him, me and Anna's character uh, were kind of button heads. But by the end, Wesley wants her to succeed. I think he would just want her to succeed, but uh, have everyone think it was because of him. This is right, ultimate. Okay. Right. I mean, when it comes down to it, um, would you, if you were running a company, would you hire him to be one of your execs? Oh my God, Wesley, no, absolutely. I mean, <laughs> if I had like, a, if we, there was like a ton of like, if there was like a slush fund, I'd be like, you know, let's hire this guy just because he's going to be funny to have around. But, <laughs> yeah. but in no way would he be beneficial to, to the workflow. Yeah. And it's, it really is such a great ensemble cast here. So yeah. what's it like creating this comedy with like Anna Gasteyer and, and the rest of this whole crew? Legend. She's a legend. It, uh, so when, I, when I knew it was going to be her show, I was like, oh my God, this is, this is a dream. Like she's, I, I was law clerking in Chicago when Wicked was on stage there and she was there and it was just like, I, I, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy that this oh is all gosh. together now. Uh, yeah, but she's amazing. Circle. The rest of the cast, it's it's like you said, a true ensemble home run hitters of, of comedy. It's, it's it's really, yeah. really fun to work with. But you also created and voiced the animated series Chicago Party Ant uh, yes. about a, a party animal, right? So yes, about, yeah. What do you love about working in, in the animated space? Oh man, so much. I mean, you you just get to you get to go big in comedy anyway. Yeah. And animation, you get to go even bigger and you get to take huge swings and stuff you just, you know you can't do in live action and yeah that show specifically like i, I got to work with my brother and some of my best friends and it it's a show that truly takes place in the neighborhood where i grew up so it's what a dream to be able to do that well you can catch the season finale of american auto tomorrow at 8 p.m right here on nbc and streaming on peacock it's so good to talk to you thanks so much for taking the time thank you for having me